picture, if you will, a world of fire. Everything's burning. And then let's look at what fire in itself entails. To look at fire just directly. And see that it's a destruction of something. From one state to another. Through heat burning so like you've got wood <laughs> I probably thought it bad to some of you <laughs> you have a piece of wood and you set it on fire and it burns up turns to ash it's in, in a different state it's heated up changes its chemical composition and it's no longer that piece of wood. Everything changing. But also fire being a source of energy. And to be in this world that is burning is to be in this world that is ever-changing in this world of destruction And that sucks for what wants to keep it the same as it is, unburnt. You might have had like a feeling, some of you, right in the gut, you know, <laughs> it's all, you know, thinking about it all burning up, all changing, and living in that world, wanted to stop it. Stop. Don't burn. Don't burn. But in noticing that everything, in a sense, is changing from one state to another, you allow yourself that change. And the odd thing being, that you're no longer a misfit living in a world on fire as the Kelly Clarkston quote suggested because you have already burnt up as well and so the world is already burnt up And there becomes this after the burn, after the ashes. Beyond that burn, there's no more need for fire, for change. There is no more of that. So if you and if you look at the misfit part of that quote, that's just a rebel against something, against change. So when you are against burning, against the burning of all of this but when it burns there's no more misfit
there's a cool, calm energy that it just is. There's just an interaction with everything in its pristine state, not the constructed state that can burn. It's already burnt. It's even though it, you know, you may see like me and the walls and you look around your house, a TV, tables. You may see everything in those states that they are in. You know, you plug it in, TV pops on and stuff. And the misfit part of that is to look at those things and not want them to be burnt, changed. But where I'm speaking from is that they are already changed. But if you can see that, once you notice that everything is already in that state of change, The house is burnt. I'm gone. No more TV. No more table. It's not solid. It's living beyond the burn. And when you see it at that way, there's no need to go and, you know, burn a whole fucking city down or everything, you know, it's already gone, let's fight, you know, <laughs> if it's already gone, you don't need to take action towards burning it, it's already gone, it's, just, you know, you don't have to make it be gone, because then that's you not seeing that it is, and then that's you seeing it in the misfit state, but the understanding here is to just have the realization of everything. I mean, you've seen things burn. You've seen the compositions change. And, it, and you've seen everything to its post-burnt state. Wood into ashes. Ashes into the wind, nothingness. Same holds true for the earth, as predicted, the suns they expand, you know a red giant, swallow the earth, burn it up. Imagine it, imagine this whole earth in its post-burn state. Imagine you in your post-burn state. You don't have to go burn in anything to do this. That's pretty retarded. <laughs> but, and I know some minds get caught on the, you know, the interaction of burning. It's already burnt. It's not going to hurt anything. But like I said, that's a mind that is still identifying with the misfit. That is still imagining or identifying everything is the world on fire. After this, seeing all of this is gone. including all of this and all that's watching this already all changed
there's that different source of energy, a different type of energy. And that's what I'm directing you to. All of the old sages, not all of them, but a lot of it is just mind work, just visualizing. That's why I say you've already seen the piece of wood that's burnt. But yet, day to day, you go out and you see everything else is unburnt. And, and your mind already knows that the state of it is unburnt, that it can be burnt. And so you're a misfit against that because you want to hold on to all of this as you're driving down the road, all of this is unburnt. Because it keeps it there. Drive down the road and allow it to be burnt. Let's see what happens. Just imagine it. Just driving down the road. Shit, it's all gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. Shit, this car underneath me is all gone. Shit, I'm all gone. <laughs> well, what exists? I'm all gone. There's something there. There's some source of energy. There's some interaction going on with everything that's all gone. What is that interaction? Tell me what that interaction is. What do you find out? What do you see?